Hey everybody, Steven here. I haven't been too busy doing YouTube videos these last couple months just because I've been busy working on uh, another project, which is actually where I'm at right now, which is the new training space. I just got the keys today. Uh, and uh, I'm gonna give you a little bit of a tour and talk about some of the stuff. They actually just finished painting today also. It's not done. This is just kind of a starting point for everything. Um, but it's something that I've wanted to do. I've kind of pushed towards this with my career and it's just a natural progression that I've always wanted to take and now I have the means to do so. And uh, nothing against Obtain Strength. Uh, Michael Corey has been phenomenal over there with all of that, but it's just something that I wanna do for my career. So uh, I'm gonna flip this around and kind of talk about everything. So um, the space is a little bit harder to see with the camera here, just cause it makes it look a little bit smaller, but this is a 1,350 square foot space. The space that I have at Obtain Strength is 1150. So this is 200 square foot more. This is a 30 by 45 square foot room. The spot I have at Obtain is a 24 by 48. So it, I, I lost three feet with the length, but I gained six feet with the width. Now we got the bay door there. They still have to add in the light bulbs here, so I haven't gotten these replaced yet. Like I said, they actually just did the paint. Now I had to pay for the paint because they were just gonna do it white, but it was one of those things where if I paid for it, it would save me the time in doing it myself and just get it knocked out. So we have a 100 square foot room in the front that I'm gonna talk about here in a second, but that is all of it. We have the heater in the corner there. This is gas heating. What it does not have though is AC. And it is humid in here right now because it rained a bunch. But this wall right here is left white. Um, one, so I could save paint. <laughs> um, but also I'm just gonna cover up that wall with wood. So what I'm gonna do is get a bunch of, of um, fence boards and then we'll just kind of, and it won't be evenly lined down. I'm gonna have it staggered, but I'm gonna cover that whole wall with that. And then right above the electrical panel here, I have a, two ton mini split AC unit coming in, which is kind of like the bars that you'll see where it's just like a rectangle, a smaller rectangle uh, that'll go up there. And two tons for this should be adequate to bring the temperature down a reasonable amount. And then I'll have the fans going. So it should be okay. This garage door over here gets really hot. So I actually have to buy the foam inserts that'll go basically goes inside of this it'll actually fit you can kind of see the grooves here so it'll fit in this and uh, it'll attach under here and that should bring down the temperature from that a lot they still have to plug it up a little bit and then uh, i'm going to try and seal the top and then the good thing is that in the fall winter spring when it's not crazy hot i can open that up and we can get some fresh air in here so right here is where the uh, rail support system will go kind of like the jungle gym that I have so that'll go right there I am cutting some new pieces because I have to kind of reconfigure it so that it will actually fit so it'll be a little bit smaller but I'm gonna add it a little bit more kind of nooks and crannies to it so that it has more that we can do on it plus we can actually stand up on the top which will be awesome along here it'll be the uh, five foot space that I'll actually have to run the sled I have about what is it it's actually more, I kept, kept saying it was a couple thousand, and then I said three, but when I sat down and thought about it, it's actually, I believe, $3,200 worth of equipment from Frey Fitness. I did that video review of the half rack. I have $3,200 worth of equipment coming from them. I emptied a savings account to fund all of this, which is super risky. It's had me pretty stressed out, but it's one of those things that I definitely think it's really worth it. Um, like I said, I, just something I really want to do. I want my own space. I don't have to report to somebody basically with stuff I want to do at a gym. And I don't have to deal with other people at a gym. So here I have uh, 864 square foot of the mat. So I'm going to have three rows. So it'll be 10 uh, mats stacked vertically along this wall, which will leave me five foot here. And then it'll be three rows of it. And they're six foot long, which will get me... To about here right if i went straight that way to that wall and then i have another six it'll leave a one foot gap right here which i luckily have some scraps that i'm going to use to cover that and then i'll get four more so essentially i'm trying to box this out right just here and then this is where all the equipment will go i have a rower that i got um for uh, 
a crazy price. It's a $1,300 rower I got for $350 off Facebook. So that'll be the cardio, cardio stuff I'm hoping it'll go. If it doesn't fit there, it'll go somewhere along here. Um, bathroom right here, uh, which looks way better than it did. I have to replace that light. But uh, I got to get a mirror. I have this, a soap dispenser. Um, I'll be replacing the door handle, replacing the faucet with the bronze faucet. I have a custom bench that I'm going to put in here. I found a lady that did it for 50 bucks off Facebook, which is insane. Those things cost hundreds of dollars. And then in the back there, uh, I'll have wood as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to stack these. You can kind of see the picture there. So I'll have that look on the back of that wall. And then I actually have pipe. They're like industrial fittings basically for the towel rack so i gotta get the mirror here this is where the soap dispenser will go and then uh, towel rack will probably go somewhere over here still trying to figure that out or maybe right here i don't know i don't know if i want it back here i'm just worried people slam up against it yeah um i'll figure that out i'm also going to ask my wife about it and they weren't going to paint this but i ran into the painters so i was like can you just paint it white because it was like a it, they call it bone. It's like an off-white beige color. But they were able to get this done for me. It looks way better. So imagine that gray wood back there. I'm probably going to have to get a bigger toilet. That thing's so small. Um, and then the mirror being in here and all that. And then what I want to do is actually this wood, this laminate, because there was carpet underneath here. It looked horrible. Uh, I'm trying to buy this from because apparently the owner has a ton of it that he bought and if I can get just two packs of it on the cheap I'll cover this with that so that it looks the same because he didn't want to do it which is fine but I'll just do it myself then I got my blue in here and then the gray and then we have the AC unit in here which will keep this cool which will be nice and it actually kind of bleeds out into the other room but uh, TV stand where the TV goes there, we're just taking stuff from the house. Essentially, I'm taking stuff that I have at my house. I'm not buying new stuff. I'm just throwing it in here. Uh, I got a new fridge that'll go there. I got to figure out a couch or a futon for right there. Just whatever is the cheapest for now. Because I will be spending more time up here. And the big thing here is that it'll be a space. I just, I leave when I'm done at Obtain. Like, I don't own, have any ownership. It's not mine. It's just, I'm there and then I leave. Here, ownership, it's mine. I can do what I want. I don't have to answer anybody. I don't have to ask anybody for permission to do anything with the training stuff that I want to do, right? So with that, uh, I'll be shooting a ton more content up here. Uh, I'll be obviously highlighting the process of all of this and uh, kind of showcasing this journey. So this has been the first part, moving more stuff in this weekend. So hopefully next weekend, a week from the day, uh, maybe a week and a half, I'm gonna do a video showcasing the mini split being in here. And then I do get all my new equipment and I'm gonna be redoing reviews for all the Frey Fitness stuff because I love their equipment, the little that I do have. So I'm curious to see everything else, but the quality working with uh, Jeremy, the owner of it, um, has just been an easy process. And for the price and the builds, it's comparable to Rogue in my opinion. And uh, it's really, really nice stuff. So look forward to that. And then a bunch of new training videos, workout videos, and all that stuff for you guys as well. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked the video, hit the like button for me. Um, if you want to continue to follow along with my process in here and then all the other videos and the content that I'm going to be pumping out, I'd really appreciate it. Uh, like I said, thank you guys so much for watching. Check back soon for those other videos.